Um, first on the agenda is a Star of Life Award presentation by EMS. We just spent two around. Garrett. All right. Agenda changes. Uh, sure. Star of Life Award is going to be on for the next one. Okay, that's almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my last read on the email. Okay. You're forgiven. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> never put a limit on them. If we could add a uh, business business item for it. Hey. <clears throat> Given that change, uh, next is the Copley Trust meeting. Senior Center update by Gloria Wing. We have, we have to move to go to Copley Trust. I move to go to Copley Trust meeting session. Second. And move and seconded to enter Copley meeting trust section. Copley Trust meeting section. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed, so move. Ms. Wayne, you're up. Thank 
Have to pick a stopping point somewhere. That's all you can do. I was just wondering on uh, LED lights. Did you apply for rebates from? Because uh, quite substantial, especially for a building like that. Uh, <clears throat> you mentioned um, COVID cost increase um, due to pricing changes. You just you just mean like what I'm assuming you mean that every all building construction costs went up with COVID, or did you mean some kind of COVID compliance? Okay. Construction costs. Okay. We refer to it in the industry as COVID. COVID costs. Cost. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. My husband's a builder, so I I heard about it. <laughs> Sixteen thousand one forty one. Moved and seconded to grant to the cost overrun of sixteen thousand one forty one. Is there any further discussion? Uh, I'd like to ask Claire, why aren't you voting? <laughs> I assume it would be in the affirmative. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, I don't see any problem with that for us. We don't have an idea of a conflict of interest with the work or the money we're requesting. You were the overhead work. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? So moved. You're welcome. Aye. Thanks for coming in. Yep. Okay, next we'll approve the Copley Trust Minutes of May 3rd. Motion we approve them. Second. Move and second to approve the Copley Trust Minutes of May 3rd. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I want to make it wrong. Okay. Members, please stand So noted. Further discussion? I wasn't there. So should I just say the same? I wasn't there either. You were you were here. On May third? No, she wasn't. No. I was well, I was on the last one. I wasn't this July nineteenth. Yeah. Right. You were here. All right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that I probably should have stayed from this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? So we'll move. That's from May 3rd or acceptance. Is public trust meeting of July 19th. Uh -huh. Moved and seconded to approve the minutes of July 19th, the public trust meeting. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? No, I abstain. Yeah. So moved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gloria. Thank you. Hi, Gloria. Hi. Okay. Yeah, Gloria made the motion to adjourn. Second. We get a second? Yeah. Second. Yep. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Those opposed? So moved. Yeah. We are now back in. Like board meeting. We have to make a motion to come back in the okay. Okay, first order of business is to approve the minutes of July thirteenth. Board? I make a motion to make approval. Second. Then moves and seconds to approve the minutes of July thirteenth. Any discussion? I appreciate, Sarah, the way you, you uh, kind of condensed it. That was really good. Yeah, because I, I took notes, but very creative. Mm -hmm. condensation was really condensation. I don't think it's right, but <laughs> condensing was really good. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? So moved. Now, the select board meeting of July 19th to we'll approve the minutes. Yeah. All right. Can I just mention one thing about the ATV minutes? Would it be possible, since it's a matter of um, public record, would it be possible to put the, um, the link to um, the um, <clears throat> the recording of the the, um, the actual meeting? Because you did a great job condensing everything. But if people wanted to hear more. They want to just sit through <laughs> the two hours. Yeah. Okay. okay, sorry. Okay. Is that fair? So now we're, uh, now we're on. Do we need a second for the July 19th? Moving second to approve the select board minutes of July 19th. Any discussions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Community concern. Anybody out in uh, TV land got any community concerns? Liquor control. We have any liquor control, Sarah? Sarah no. Sorry. I wasn't sure which Sarah. No, there is not. Okay. Sorry. Sarah <laughs> H. So we'll go to new business. First order of business appoint Grant Fabree to the LCPC board. I uh, understood that Judy had spoken to Grant. So we have to try and hold the ground. And I'll send the Grant uh, down to the Oxbow one day. And he spoke to me about it further and asked me a little bit about it. Having never served on the board, I just gave him a, a brief description of the LGBT for their role in my county. Interested in joining the local government it would be a great way to look at it. We will take the That would be a great way to point to that. 
Question and we appoint. Second. Motion has been made to appoint Brett Labrie to the LCPC board. Any further discussion? Brett, do you have any questions? Or? <laughs> do you know? Do you know where they meet? Okay. Right across the street, up the stairs. It's above Kaplan. I'll tell you where exactly, but there's signs and and they have pizza. <laughs> Or you can, or you can participate by Zoom. So I think once Eric submits your name to them, um, uh, my name Georgina will be in touch with you. What is the term like for that position? I like they're, they're all yeah, five years. Yeah. <laughs> five years to do one. Never last most of that. We've always done one year. And everyone just comes back around and says it's their input. And, okay. And that's just at their own one year anniversary? Uh, or is that every town meeting? I don't know. I think last year, because of COVID, things that kind of, we didn't, mm -hmm. I don't think we did free up to people. I don't remember mm -hmm. doing that. But, um, and I, so I don't know the time frame. To make sure you know what you're in for. <laughs> yeah, I'd say congratulations, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Cool. Well, Gus Mike Miller Road Zone. So I was going to delete this from the, the agenda, but I thought perhaps it was it's just appropriate to let you know what we're working on. Uh, Max Miller for the sign is one uh, Max Miller. We now know I've done a lot of reading of this. Max Miller was the stage name for a very popular rap uh, who passed away in 2018. There is a very large cult ball. And our sign is on the target of the fact of the ball back. Last year, Kevin called them, they replaced the sign. This year, four times. Most have been cut one. Most recent fastly under the bolts. Awesome sign. So it's fifty dollars per sign. Plus the cost of labor continues to be out there. And happy to reach out to the panel on board. Two signs that would be capital M period.
So uh, there's still lanes of subdivision that is in the works. There's a not from the DRC yet, but the road naming also requires that for three or more dwellings. This road is going to be coming off from the Great Farm Road. The Great Farm Road is off from the Grand Great Farm is sort of dead smaller. And it's all part of the domain. Great Farm Road is a dead end road that serves several residents. The uh, road is going to go between two of the homes. Is there a significance behind the name? Okay. I can speak to that. Sorry, this is Cordelia Ryan. <laughs> um, that we submitted the application. May I speak to that? Your question? Yes. Okay. Um, so Fishkill Farm uh, is. We're from Massachusetts. So then we drove through Fishkill, New York. Um, and my husband and I have a small um, home with some property here in Massachusetts, and we wanted to kind of name the road in honor of my grandparents. Um, and Fishkill, it actually means like where multiple streams connect and there's fish in them. And the property um, that we just purchased where this, this road leads to does have uh, three, uh, one main stream and two small brooks that lead that come together and there are fish in it. So it's um, kind of, you know, serves two purposes, I guess. I know that it sounds strange fish kill, but I don't know if it, and we're, you know, we're certainly open to other, if you don't care for the name, then we could come up with something else, but that is the, you know, the reasoning behind it. Oh, more of it as <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know it's so strange, but it, it kind of we wanted to 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 go for it. But again, if that's if you don't feel like it's appropriate, then we're certainly open to other uh, names. I'm I'm personally fine with it. Yeah. Thanks sure. for the explanation. Mm -hmm. Oh sure. Can I make motion we approve it? Yes, sure. Second. Been moved and seconded to approve the fish kill road name with the uh, Eric with the uh, town administrator. Find the whatever he needs to find. Is there any uh, further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Those opposed? So moved. Thank you all very much. Thanks. Thank you for the explanation. Thanks. Discussion of Main Street vacant property. So this is about a very broad basis. <laughs> so Scott came to my team and said the, the planning council had uh, an inquiry on the board several months ago. Sorry, can you clarify which board the select? select board. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was on the select board at the time, I remember the second time. Um, they didn't get a real clear lead back from the board as to whether or not the board was interested. So they passed positive to bring the question back.
try to market this property on uh, several properties uh, to make it look more attractive. Told him that the board would be discussing this and taking up consideration on a possible purchase. Um, he, he indicated to me that the uh, government entity, very interesting, they sell these properties. Uh, they're sold. The way they normally do things is they have restrictions on the deed. Gas station since the 70s. Don't want to have to deal with brownfield sites. So the ground stays in the ground. Therefore, they, all that they will put restrictions on it to the uh, They also put restrictions on in order to. Restrictions are pretty stringent on the property. It will be. Um, they find it attractive instead of government entities. I didn't want the board to miss an opportunity here. That's all, all I'm really bringing to you is I was available. Four weeks of father uh, has been brought by. I think council has thought perhaps there'd be an opportunity to find the intersection on the street or Portland Street. I personally have looked at it, but don't believe it's feasible. Intersection, we have enough distance from the Walgreens property line to the intersection, we have never been an S curve. If the, the, the board, not the, the taxpayers, might be interested in getting off street parking. Give you any indication of how soon they would need to know anything? They did not set a price on the lot. Um, they just said they would offer all the tax uh, feet on the lot itself. And it's it's a little difficult to discern what a, a, a valid offer would be uh, as a working effort with the tax on the ground and a the hood overhead that was. Tanks have been removed, overhead uh, pieces have been removed, uh, the, uh, the brick structure mounts with a big block, and the uh, and value uh, 0.3 acres. Tax assessment was 200. Billion. There's some tax advantages to positive there are some tax advantages. <laughs> <laughs> I see they were test driven when they did. They're in the middle of doing their, I don't know, the whole phase one brownfield. Uh, they're looking to see what. And if the town was to buy it, would we not be involved in that at all? I haven't looked any further. My understanding from what Dan told us when we talked about this before, that nonprofits don't have to pay for a phase one ground field. Well, I'm not sure it would be appropriate. I mean, if you just use it as a parking lot, not disturb it, it pays over it. Correct. If that was the ground intent, goes away. just to make that, yes. So it never has to worry about it. I'd want that to make sure that is the way it is. Right. And that's the right thing. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want the town to buy something that later on they make a new. Uh, a lot of <laughs> not worth the parking. Oh, yeah. But oh, that's yeah. right. You don't have to be But uh, that's where we're. I haven't taken any further steps than that because 
certainly in the system. Mm -hmm. Whether or not that was something we brought with Laura, I just thought I'd give that computer to the Congress for a couple weeks. All the other things, any other inquiries, and come back to the next point. Um, would it be um, possible or appropriate to um, bring, bring it up to the community to, um, I'm thinking um, off-site parking would be great, but um, how could it look nice and afford more human scale um, green space in the downtown? Because it's right there. I mean, it's just right there. Um, so I'm interested to know what the process looks like. Um, do we um, do we bring it to other boards who might have or an interest in operation? So it you know um, so it isn't just a parking lot and right in downtown, but it's you know. Do whatever you want. Okay. Right. 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 If a business went in there, is the building going to stay? Or is that up to us? If we. No, no, it depends on who, who purchased the property. Okay. So right now, it can stay. Would it be usable for open a little business thing? I'm sure. I'm mm -hmm. sure that there could be details. Uh, I just I don't know what the business would be because I don't know all the restrictions. I uh, a conversation uh, with Laura as well on the other two. There, there. There are other market shares. There are there are some company Someone I I don't really want to see another gas station. Though. No, well, I don't think it will be a gas station like that. Uh, because uh, well, mm -hmm. number one, they'll restrict it. I don't think Roland allows any more gas to be Yeah. After, I mean, after this is for whatever it is, you can't go anymore. Yeah, I agree with Jeff. But I mean, I've got something visually lovely. Either put some greenery around it and people could walk in. But I think you could make a special park for the parking. Oh, I'd probably gain 10 to. No, what you want to do with the building? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so that, sorry, go ahead. Thank you. Ned. You start looking at Christian. Right. There's probably ways of, um, Creating it so that it's all contained above above the the uh, paved over it, creating just containers and that kind of. Thing. I see what you're saying. You don't. Yeah. You know that. No, there's some over by down by River Arts. Oh, they're totally Are they? Oh, that's, I think they're lovely. <laughs> what doesn't work about them?
I think they were set up doing something else over there today. Oh, I didn't see surveyor that. was in there. I don't know what they were doing. So they're, and he told me they had done more and they were looking to see what was in the soil and how much was in the soil. I said, we get pleasantly surprised. I'm not so pleasantly surprised. We can do that more to help out the sugar beet. If it's not contaminated, Long shot that it's not contaminated, then they have the opportunity to sell some of the ones to go where they should Because it's certainly all sand and gravel over there. <clears throat> really good drainage. And yeah, good idea when she opens the drain. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to agree to look into that further and in the next meeting, yeah. Good. yeah, I'm just I'm looking for the board to give me some indication that it's a you know a good idea. Like it would be something. There's no money in the budget for that kind of a purchase. It would have to be something we go to the taxpayers for. Correct. Right. Okay. Any other questions? There's I'm sure there's there's more questions to be answered. If you're interested, uh, I'll continue. I would think it would make sense to investigate it further. Yeah. At least get the results of the phase one study and. Mm -hmm. And also to understand. The DLA would give the town. Mm -hmm. Also to understand, um, they could tell us ahead of time what the restrictions on the deed. We want to know that before. You said it was Global Montello Group? Yes. Global Montello Group Corporation. I just got this. It's a wall from Mass <clears> Tunes. <throat> Any further discussion? Then award the paving bid. So this is an interesting conversation. Uh, interesting in that when we went out to bid, we asked for five roads. You can the old uh, version of 20 miles. You get thousand dollars. It used to be roughly hundred thousand dollars that you a mile black. Uh, based on that, Kevin chose uh, five roads. Uh, one was shorter. Others and uh, the idea was to do those five roads this year because they're smaller roads. Get them, get them big. This came out substantially higher than the amount of money we had budgeted. About one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars in our paper budget. Thank you. Going to keep me up all night. So that's why, with the last meeting, I said. And told me that we weren't going to be serious because we were going to be well, sending back out a request for bid on a fewer road, prioritize the five that can't come up. Kevin received a phone call the very next day from Jay Hutchinson Corp. asking if the bid had been awarded the night before and explained the situation, um, the budget versus the cost. Go back up the bid. For Road, who were said they had just did a good job. It's valid locally. Price has already gone up. So they said they would honor their tonnage price, the per ton price. They would stop pouring tape. Prior to uh, road, that I came up with uh, the Washington Highway, approximate starting location for my public house. And make sure we get enough distance. 
Question by Randolph or down well, so top I'm going down the hill, but starting probably out the okay. rest of the hill yeah. and down to Randolph Road. Okay. This, this is the first section of yeah. Washington Highway. We received from the Indiana family, uh, not just our own, but other towns as well yeah. about that road. So uh, that would be the primary focus. And then the secondary focus is Power Street. That street is not seen running pavements on the long way. Which one's boundary? Is that the one going back to where the park is being put in? It is. It's right, but it's like it's going to parallel our K mile going. Oh, it comes down from Portland Street. Not just the picked off is putting in uh, two bikes. The tree itself is completely torn up, so there's very little pavement flat. Uh, not as a result of this construction, which is almost shaped for a very, very long time. That way, back to uh, the life is a reason not just to put up sealed roads. Possible to get the dirt going that there's pavement. That's not the burden for taking care of this road. Going down dirt. Regret acting in with the tiny company. Other three roads that we had uh, planned to pave uh, was one of them, Town Hill Road. Um, and there were parkways. So it was uh, those those roads, you know, they, they do need some. How does it normally work? I know that the, the Foundry Street hasn't been a residential street here. And so, so it's being developed. Does the developer alter the street when they're putting in housing that hasn't existed before? I know that the DRB requires as a part of its uh, permit that it has to put in curbing, or it's curbing to do. In fact, one spot he's actually gone beyond what he was asked to do because there's a fire hydrant at the end of the street. He actually brought his curbing around to protect that fire hydrant. He did it, he definitely did it, because he knew he was going to do it. Uh, so the train curbing is being installed. Uh, other than that, Gary, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's any requirement for keeping this because it was destroyed before concern. Okay. Sidewalk in that room. Yeah, there is a sidewalk. I, I'm just wondering because it's not developed yet. It's being developed. I know that fits into the cost. It's not a high volume traffic street. Right. It is just one that is. The rest of them have to stop. I'm just wondering how that's going to be perceived by the community. I, I lean on my highway superintendent. <laughs> my highway superintendent uh, has all of our. I trust his judgment. And people are going to perceive it the way they want. If they want them all, yeah, they can. It looks like favoritism. So, yeah, okay. That street is. Could you get Bourne Service Center down there on the end? And we have three. Hurricane Miles. Yeah. Actually, guys, Harmon Yard is up in there because they have corner a lot. Actually, three businesses plus. When are the um, units going to? As soon as they're done, yeah. you've got a waiting list about two years long right yeah. now. So, yeah. and they're moving. I was just and thinking. And they've got yeah. one. The end must be pretty darn close yeah. by now. Yeah. I drove down there. 
to look at the room from the way out mm -hmm. to see what uh, And then it was down like one afternoon, and he was just and it's like I've never been this rain before so mm -hmm. uh, Eric, I was um, adding some numbers here. It looks like, I mean, if they can do this, if this estimate for Washington Highway was originally from the Copley House to Randolph Road, well, but it wasn't. It was just from the, the original, original creek down, right? No, well, the original uh, Washington Highway was, was going to go back from sort of far out all the way down. Stop the paving uh, of Washington Highway. We redid the from that road down through. They stopped it far out. Right. Which is between the Army and Copley. And then you know that resurface all the way down through there. I drove down through I drove down to Washington Highway. Right. The road section from Far Avenue to Copley House is the top that there's a couple of little spots we can put the whole patch in and probably get by. I think my potholes is just some this this hundred and thirty nine thousand five seventy was originally from Far Avenue to Randolph Road. Yeah. I think we had a buffer in there. So we got a buffer there and then even without a buffer, if you do that and Foundry Street, it looks like we could still possibly do Best Street. Very well. Because mm -hmm. that only totals 152. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I didn't want to get. Uh, yeah, no, I understand what we're going to do. Start mark, we're down those two streets, then we'll see what we got left. Uh, and, uh, Best Street. It looks like best probably be the best bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After that, yeah. best street is going to see it. Right. Basically. Downhill to that. Mm-hmm. Just be on that spring ball road that goes up the left. Be a good one to be done because you wouldn't have to touch it again for traffic and generation. But Best Street would be a good one to get done also. Mm -hmm. So, my suggestion uh, all the two bits you have, I have a way to bring this to you because I'm going to do all five rows. Which they call us and make this offer on the I did not have to Just to go uh, with the rest of the scribe, I would simply make a dollar is what we have. With all that information, do I have a motion? Right. Okay. Not accepted. Not, 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 not exceed 182,000. 182,000. All that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the next. Based on the recommendation, Kevin and Anna. The, the uh, motion? Sure. So moved. 
there's a, the line that's kind of drawn on the sand. Um, one of the pieces are going to draw more gable, final approval and writing. So projects are from that point forward. All work will be covered in the plant for work materials and whatnot. Uh, that, we've got that. Um, Right, the week after our last working. Uh, so that week they didn't work on Berkshire Road at all. All of this work that was done in John Jerry's bill was prior to the awarding of the approval of the So all of us have purchased forward. So the date on the approval from oh, from Rob Moore was it was what? Uh, we'll look at the exact dates. It was the middle of the week. All the last week. So the ten thousand three twenty falls under the grant. That's fifteen thousand dollars. And it's from us. Uh, um, uh, actually, the thirty thousand dollars in grant money. Okay. Seven thousand dollars. Will this uh, qualify for the in-kind priorities bill? Uh, it won't because it fell before, it before the it's contract is signed. I kept looking for curiosity. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <JL>. <laughs> I make a motion that we approve the three ten thousand three hundred twenty eighty dollars. I second. We move and second it to approve the ten thousand three hundred twenty dollar and eighty cent bill for Culver for Garfield Road. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All in opposed? I move. More, Brian. I'll make a motion that we approve $11,840 to the Al Audi excavator. Move and second it to approve invoice from JL Audi for the excavation work on Garfield Road for $11,840. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? So move. Seven, accept the resignation of full time police officer. Yeah, that's the one with Rick Speed. Uh, our officer, Nathan Wolf, uh, outside law enforcement, so to speak. And, uh, Make a motion that we approve. Regrets. Thank you. And move and seconded to approve Nathan Wolf's request to resign as a permanent officer from the police department. Any further discussion? We have to then um, do another motion. Yeah, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? So moved. Another one, Brian? I'll make a motion and we appoint him as a part police officer. I just ask a question. Sure. So he's working one full time job already, but he will also be working part time. Would that be like 20 hours? Well, we'll be right. Okay. Uh, primarily, what we're looking at is. For the next quarter, next four months.
Yeah. yeah, my only concern would just be if he was you know, on his feet working out, uh, but then also 20 hours as a Moving technique to appoint Nathan Wolf as a part time officer to Morristown Police Department. Following his resignation on August 28th. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? So moved. I think you said August 28th. August 28th. Oh, is it on August 29th? Oh, that's, that's in the future. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. His resignation is <laughs> as of August 28th. He gave you notice. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, calendar. And number nine accepts the resignation of highway employee. Kevin Matt, highway has uh, in his park. Did a good job for like he actually applied for the so please and uh actually scheduled for either her or her. Motion to accept the resignation of Devin with regret. Second. And move second to accept the resignation of highway employee Devin Madden with regrets. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Yeah. And then we have an additional. Number 10, change the EMS roster. I uh, need to formally uh, remove from the roster of Zach Dakota and uh, Heather Monty from the Boston roster. Uh, they both were down to state for early July. Motion we accept the resignation of that coda and I forget Heather Macha. Heather Macha. With regret. Move and seconded to accept the resignation with regrets of Zach Coda and Heather Machi. Any further discussion? That is from the EMS roster, by the way. Oh. Um, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Those opposed? A move. Approve warrants. Move and seconded to approve the warrants. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? So moved. PA report. Uh, all up on the meeting platform. So uh, if you discover here, I'm not discovered, but uh, we have 
termination date for that or that's just what we got?
So it's only that but one corner by the bus stop. Yeah. Inside the parking lot, not a bus right. So it shouldn't, it'll disrupt with the current flow, but the bathtub is coming out. So hope it's not affecting a lot of parking. Uh, we are currently the planning department uh, is working with Raleigh, the city and town on HR development. I told the last time we're developing formalized HR process here. LTT. Already uh, also a personal policy. We're doing with it. To discuss their suggestions for it. Mm -hmm. I've already started an online training with the LTT again. We went that this week. Staff or leadership is also they interview the HR person so they're not doing the exit interview with their former boss. Right. It's very private. Yeah. Um, also the interview work. What happens if someone in the financial department leaves?
Hoffentlich kommen wir auch zum Mal noch weiter. in here at trust means some uh, basic projections for that. the floor plan top and bottom trying to the design that's going to suit the need for the not just She doesn't need it. She doesn't use all of it. Uh, there's a small meeting area that we use for things in the past. Out of the windows, all of it. Out of the stairway. Out of the big hazard. We're working. We need minor repairs. That is what we're looking at as far as current using is not meeting a way to just working in a particular area that it's just not basically those, those issues have happened but if the design work happens then we have the ability to continue to function as we are perhaps create an office area of stairs that would be fully functional our boss here is trust. We take a plan and administration off of it. We don't deal with the public and the great. Not as much as the district is Trisha, kind of close. But those folks upstairs, upstairs, if you public, we deal with the public. Uh, those are just ideas. Those are just the thoughts that come out of the meeting we've had. The thoughts of long term use of the We really don't want to continue to keep uh, the next sheet. That would be a long term future. That's where I'm going to work. I don't think you can put any offices upstairs without putting an elevator. Okay. And the thought process is before I can talk more, much I think we're borderline on the okay. yeah. uh, create problem, but I'm looking at the office. I know the other building was before we moved out, it was quite an issue because there was somebody had an office upstairs and it was handicapped accessible. They used to do is go get them, bring them down. They said that's because we were grandfathered because we were in it. We were told when they moved out, there was no way to move into another building. I think it's um, I think back to when the purchases, you know, there was some issue with I'm sure you'll find that out in architectural stuff.
Yeah, I'm sure yeah. there's ways of doing it. All retired. All retired? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. So, just the uh, thing you know, you start pulling permits on you have your rate to be filled with all the seats. That's no sprinklers, no fire alarms, no exit signs, no fire alarms. So, you're right. That's the That's it. Thank you, Eric. Thank Select you. board concerns. Judy? Um, I was just thinking about the empty lot. Maybe even I've done it already talking to Mac. Uh, that's not that much. Mm -hmm. Until it was brought in here, I have to watch and see what I have to react to you folks. And, you know, I react to that. That's one question. But, but I don't want to get too premature with no. my answer. I was also wondering, I don't remember the exact conversation, but Randolph Road, I think it's supposed to have another skim code on it or something. Yeah, next year we have already received the grants for the state aid money for savings. We have five years that we're allowed dollars to do paving on both Randolph or the state board. That money is your money coming in next year. I know that when Virgo Dan said yeah, they, were, they hadn't finished Randolph yet. Yes. Um. I no. I would just um, um echo Judy's question about the vacant area, and um I can come talk to you just to understand more about the process for like that around town. Um, we, um, there's other vacant spaces I wonder about too. So um, I can come to you. Now. No, I, I don't know if you knew, but I went in and talked to Todd because somebody's using that vacant spot. Yeah. yeah. And to me, I know when I first got on the board, it was issues of vendors just coming into town and setting up side the road for go around paying taxes and paying rent and places. So I bring it up at the planning commission just to see, but I see they were in there again the other day. They, met, they got up some kind of a van or something, they pull up there, windows, and they sit in chairs there doing business. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a there's an office right across the roads for rent. You know, they want to do business. Somebody said, well, 
it might help the people that are paying taxes on that law. Maybe they'll let them do that for money. But that's enough. I'll talk to Mr. Waller and find out what the dollars are supposed to be. Yeah, well, because it was the food carts were brought up, and I think that's a great thing, especially Oxford and things, especially with them. But for somebody just to swing into town and take advantage of a vehicle, lots of new business. On in. I think I saw that on the agenda of the Planning Commission. Well, yeah, she does. Yeah. One time. But I think you get me on there again. So. Oh, I. I don't really have a concern. I just want to uh, give a shout out to our new town administrator. I've talked to um, several people in the last few weeks, and they really appreciate um, appointing a local person as a new town administrator. And they've had nothing to do for with them. So thank you, Eric, and keep up the good work. It's been, uh, everybody says, so, thank you. Old business. Any other business? I make a motion to enter executive session to discuss appointment or employment or evaluation of public office or employee pursuant to Section 1, BSA Section 313.4 of the Vermont Statute. To include the town administrator. Second. Then move and seconded to enter in executive session. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? So moved. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you.